Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vikram Singh Pawar Patil and I hearty welcome to all of you in my channel. So friends, today we will explore this grid option of Diva GIS where you will find different kind of operations that you could comprehend with the help of data set. So this, this is the overlay option that is very much applicable for gridded data analysis. So friends, these are the add, multiply, minimum, cover, subtract, divide options are there that you could use for the data analysis. So friends, I'm going to use here this. This is the future annual precipitation data as well as current annual precipitation data that I have impro imported in the software, this database I have procured from World Climate Database. And suppose somebody wants to study the climatic change analysis, so this is the best option for understanding the climatic change. So, friends, I have given here first layer as a future annual precipitation and second layer as a current annual precipitation. So, by Assigning the output, you can queue as a precipitation change because this name is there. So, by assigning this file name and just clicking this apply button you will have this precipitation change database. So here is the precipitation change data that you can see easily here. It is showing that in future, I mean by 2050 precipitation will increase and this is the spatial distribution of uh, increment of precipitation that we could study and this way we could use this add multiply divide options for the further analysis so friends another very applicable operation is there that is scalar you can change Suppose this is the annual precipitation and uh, you want to add or you want to subtract, you want to multiply this grid value by any number. I have given here 5 as an example. And by assigning the output, you will have the increment of uh, 5 in a grid value. You can see that this is the layer that we have here by doing this operation. And this way, you can use this subtract or multiply or power log. log locked in operations that you could come for hand. So friends, here is the neighborhood operation that we could use for the further analysis. This is the here you can assign any kind of uh, raster graded raster layer and uh, here is the kernel 3 by 3 pixel 5 by 5 pixel or 7 by 7 or 9 by 9 pixel is is there these are the operations that you could use and he, he is the method that you can study you will have mean by applying this mean operation median mode minimum maximum range cv richness that all kind of operations are there that you can explore so as this way you will have reclass operation 
reclassification that is very much possible if you are having certain kind of uh, raster layer that if you wish to reclass reclassify this one then this is also possible by using this reclass operation so friends these are the calculate aggregate disaggregate merge cut these are the operations that you could comprehend by using this kind of software so friends as this way this is the very powerful and uh, it's simple software that we could harness for the raster layer analysis so friends thank you very much for watching my video